Hey guys, this is just going to be a showcase on the DVDs and instructional books that I got to help me out with my boxing, you know, definitely with my pad work. Um, I'll be highlighting that here. And um, yeah, so, some other things that just helped me with my boxing with my boxing hobby. And so the first one I want to highlight is Fighting Fit by Kosha Zoo, uh, Total Health and Fitness Program. And this is the very first DVD slash book that I purchased. I saw Kosha Zoo on a talk show and he was talking about this book that he released and um, contains a book and DVD. So this you can um, pretty much, I think somebody's uploaded the whole thing on YouTube anyway. And um, yeah, this really opened up my eyes um, to the world of these DVDs and what you can learn fr from them. It was absolutely amazing. I guess the downside of DVDs, they are limited. They're not as big as Blu-rays and things like that. I think this only goes on for like 40 minutes or something like that. But yeah, 40 minutes. But when you think about it, Kosha Zoo is a world-class champion boxer, one of the greatest boxers um, in, in Australian boxing history. And in this DVD, he shows you his skipping, um, how, how he does push-ups, um, sit-ups, neck exercises, hand weights, um, uh, you know, how he hits the heavy bag, reflexes and balance and things like that. Now, it's not the best um, structured, to like it says it's a total fitness workout. It isn't really, he doesn't break down how many sit-ups you should do, how many push-ups you should do, how many minutes, you, how many rounds you should hit the heavy bag. But so despite it not being a very well, executed you know showcase of an actual fitness program like hell jack dempsey's book has a better fitness program in it than this one but it is a visual representation of that and i still come back to this time and time again um to see oh how does he do a push-up again or how does um he hit the um heavy bag or how does he hit the speed bag or um how does Koshizu do sit-ups? Because everyone else does sit-ups differently. And it's a world-class athlete showing you how he does it. So it was absolutely incredible. Before DVDs and before the internet, you very rarely saw footage of people in the gym or, or at least raw footage of it. It was always like TV highlights. So that we might have been doing it up for the camera or, you know, it might have been just very small fragments. And this was an actual tutorial. So it just really opened my eyes to the world of DVDs um, or, or instructional DVDs by world-class athletes. And I did go ahead and, and, and collect a lot of them around the world. Now you can go ahead and get stuff streamed. So you can go like to Dynamic Striking, that's a big one, or BJJ Fanatics. The only issue I have with some of those websites, if they don't offer the downloads, one, the internet in Australia is very poor. So, you know, streaming it isn't the best, you know, just like, oh, can't you just offer a download? Um, but two, I'm always worried that the website won't be there in the long run. And then once the website goes, you won't be able to watch it again. That happens um, quite often. I I've experienced that myself with some educational stuff I bought and you can only stream it. Um, so I'm always for getting stuff either physical or if you can download it. And by the way, Dynamic Striking does offer downloads, which is um, fantastic because in Australia, oh boy, our internet's terrible. But during this period between 2003 to 2012, there were a lot of instructional DVDs released. Um, it was a big money-making thing at the time before YouTube really became, you know, swallowed up everything and really killed that, um, unfortunately, really killed that uh, um, era. But now, um, I guess streaming is, is, is kind of bringing it back. He's seeing some really, like Khabib Nurmagomedov just released a, a tutorial on grappling, which is phenomenal. I think everyone's going to be downloading that one. Um, but yeah, th this is just a showcase of all the DVDs I was using. These are like my se secret weapons. I call this the Black Library because it was like I was learning secretly from world-class champions how to hold mitts how to hit the heavy bag how to punch better just any and with all of this some of these cost a hundred dollars but for me it was worth it if, if if i could just learn one thing take away one thing from it and and put it into my arsenal to me it was worth it and this cost you zoo fighting fit although even in the book like there, there are recipes for you know helping to lose weight and things like that um some 
mental strategies, you know, how to sleep, um, how to stay calm and stuff like that. Some, some really interesting stuff in this book, but it's not the best structured. This remains the core workout. So when I go downstairs or in the garage just to work out by myself, this remains the core workout for me, the push-ups, the sit-ups, hitting the heavy bag and so forth, um, hand weight exercises. I got all this from him. Um, and b- largely, I think, because this was my very first DVD and I watched it over and over again. I watched this over and over again. So, yeah, fantastic, fantastic um, DVD, the Kosha Zoo one for health and fitness. A bit dated now compared to what else is out there, but uh, I loved this at the time. The other ones I want to showcase, um, oh, I'll, before I get to the title boxing ones, before instructional DVDs, and this was just eye-opening, there were some VHS tapes out there, but there were like 10 volumes, very hard to ship, where a DVD, you know, even if you have, you know, several of them, it's much easier to ship this out, you know, a few volumes of it than it is a VHS collection, because VHS is bigger and bulky and much more expensive to ship out, and then they get damaged and degrade, and you actually got to rewind it and um, stop it, you know, but there were instructional VHSs out there, I just didn't know much about them when i got into the workforce and i started earning money um the internet was emerging emerging stuff stuff like youtube and and so forth but so forth but a lot of online shopping and especially dvds were a big thing and i love collecting these i love watching these i love um especially if they're a good teacher i just love seeing them the person break down how they do things and it's like them sharing you know, it's like a world-class person or craftsman, world-class craftsman sharing how they do things. And oh, it's just absolutely valuable, uh, um, priceless to me. But before DVDs, and you had a visual instruction, you had um, uh, DVDs, uh, I think, are much better than books. But before DVDs, you you just had books. And obviously, the um, most popular one was um, Jeet Kune Do by Bruce Lee. And um, I was shocked to see so many of these drawings were from the Sandow Wrestling books. Oh, I don't have the Sandow Wrestling books here. Um, I do collect the Catch Wrestling books and stuff like that as well. But yeah, you just it's it's more like notes um, that uh, this book was. So it's not really a tutorial. Um, and then, um, you know, I, I think a must read, but one of the best books ever released was uh, Jack Dempsey's um, Championship Fighting. And... It has um, diagrams as best as possible, really, really good descriptions by um, Jack Dempsey. I'm still learning new punches from this book and new um, defensive maneuvers. And um, I love his breakdown of uh, um, training. Uh, He has a training regime at the very end of this. Um, I can't find it. (laughs) But he definitely does have one. Maybe it's at the very end here. It's like a table. Um, Yeah, so he has a breakdown of what you should work out. I've actually got this... I've, I actually bought the book on um, my iPad, Apple iPad Store, and that has a, it has it formatted it formatted a lot better than what's shown on this book. But before my point is, before DVDs, books were like the best thing you can get, and there's only so much you can learn from these diagrams and what what they're describing here. Like, it, in my opinion, it's just way better to get it off a DVD because you can visually see what they're doing it's like um having like the equivalent of going to see freddie roach at the wildcard gym you would actually have to pay money to get on a plane go over to los angeles and get into a gym and and pay a fortune just to get one-on-one training sessions or you could spend you know money to buy this dvd and get world-class training uh, you know a seminar from freddie roach and no one else was doing this um at my gym like, no one else was hunting these things down. I just thought, oh, my gosh, I just had this thirst for knowledge and just wanted to learn as much as possible. So, but that that's a must-read. And I know I'm saying DVDs are far superior than books, but this is a must-get book if, if you're into into boxing. This is um, Jack Dempsey actually invented. He made a quantum leap in fighting. He actually invented the bob and weave, what Mike Tyson popularized, that duck and weave or bob and weave style. And he, he had a ferocious left hook, one of the greatest of all time. And this is, I think I showcased this on my shoe review uh george st pierre i like getting these books on these top fighters these autobiographies because you might spot a little bit of a you know something that they do a warm-up they do or a technique that they do that you can incorporate into your game i think it's a must must get if you're um into uh fighting and you want to get every 
every little nugget of knowledge um helps. So the fir- the um so I've just talked about the costumes. The next one I want to talk about is these ph- are these phenomenal title DVDs. I thought I've got the whole set. I don't have the whole set. I'm missing a few, but I must have got the other ones from YouTube then because I do remember a lot more than this. So the first one was Ross Amber, How to Box the Basics. And I have the one where he shows you how to hold mitts as well. And that's, uh, I think, David Lemieux. So that's a championship fighter. And I really love... um, Ross Amber's style because I've got really bad uh, ankles from basketball and he fights, he teaches a lot of his fighters to fight from a wide stance, you know, and I, I, I just adopted that wide stance. In Australia, all the boxes, um, all the boxing gyms here teach short stance and a lot of movement, which, which I'm highly against because like it's great if you can do it, but I don't believe boxing should have like a cookie cutter um, in regards to coaching, a cookie cutter mentality where everyone has to box Olympic style or amateur style, like, you know, constant pace with legs. What what if you get a guy like me who just doesn't have the ankles to sustain that sort of movement? And um, yeah, so I was just thankful that I found, discovered these DVDs and I went, oh, wait, there's another way to do boxing. You know what I mean? There isn't just one way that the gym is telling you. But um, yeah, so Russ Amber is a very, very good coach. But um, this style is definitely not an Olympic style boxing where it's a lot of feet movement like this. David Lemieux in, in this DVD fights from a wide stance. And I think a lot of people would disagree with um, the message shown in here. I'm not sure if this is on YouTube or not. But I just love having these physical editions. Like the print, the production's pretty good. Like uh, really good compared to um, some DVDs that I bought online. Uh, another great boxer here. I don't, what's his name? Um, does it show his name here? Uh, Danny Campbell. I think he owns Title Boxing. I think this guy is a phenomenal coach. Like his breakdown of the exp- explanations, and I do have the defensive boxing. Um, he, he teaches how to how to do defense, and it's one of the best seminars or DVDs I've ever seen. Um, his um, how to how to defend, and he shows you how to defend a jab. How to he shows you how to do a shoulder roll. Um, it's just phenomenal. And this one, how to hit the heavy bag, is excellent as well. Um, yeah, so Danny Campbell, uh, excellent, excellent boxing coach. I wish he would release a lot more. Um, he just has a great, he's like it's almost like a military guy talking to you, but he just has a great way of explaining things. And that, that, um, just that example, Kosha Zhu, who was a world class champion, like one of the best ever in Australian boxing, but he, how he verbalizes and explains things isn't very good. Like you sort of have to piece it together yourself, which is fine. If he demonstrates it, like you see him hit the heavy bag and he tries to explain, he sort of can piece it together. Where well, you got guys like this who aren't world champions, but they're very good at explaining things. And that's where the difference is in, in coaching. I guess some people can coach really well where they can articulate and break things down and see it from the point of view of the student and where they are and try to explain things where they can understand it. That's a good coach. And I think Danny Campbell is one of the best out there. And then the golden ones, the whole Freddie Roach set. So I'll just break down these ones. So this is um, cross training for boxing, upper body and more, and mainly Justin Fortune, who's actually a boxer himself, and he's more of a physical trainer now. Um, And he does Manny Pacquiao and a whole bunch of others. Um, he trained with Manny Pacquiao, so he's a physical conditioning guy, but he is a, a champion level boxer. He fought Lennox Lewis, like uh, he looks so like just a bit taller than Freddie Roach, but he and he actually fought uh, Lennox Lewis. <laughs> um, but you can tell his thickness. He is a heavyweight, a uh, really strong guy. He's Australian, uh, Australian heavyweight boxer. So in this, he has a few breakdowns of the physical exercises he employs in Freddie Roach's gym, and then another one here, core training. I think uh, for the lower body. And then how to lose weight. This is more of a lecture on what you should eat and, you know, um, um, and things like that. So it might be a bit dated because dieting is constantly evolving. Like almost every year they're finding out things you should or shouldn't eat. And I think it was one, they just found out the food pyramid was wrong. Like I remember the food pyramid was massive when I was a kid and now that's completely wrong. And then um, I think salt is now okay. Fat is now okay. You know, there's constant constant evolutions in uh, dieting uh, definitely and so this might be a bit dated but it's it's interesting but this is a lecture not really a tutorial um, how to lose weight rapidly for boxing so this has exercises in it and a, uh, a sweatsuit that uh, the uh, she's a boxer I'm not sure who she is but she's a looks like a very good a very good boxer and she just demonstrates what uh, some Justin Fortune's um, strategies to losing weight 
And these are the two key ones, or three key ones here. So this is Freddie Roach. Um, this, this is really the first DVD set that really taught me how to coach. And I did not intend on how to coach or, or anything like that. I just wanted to learn from Freddie Roach because he was Manny Pacquiao and Oscar De La Hoya's trainer. So I got this in 2005 or six when Oscar De La Hoya was um, ge gearing up to fight um, um, uh, Floyd Mayweather. And so I bought all these DVDs. I watched them religiously. There's Freddie Roach teaching you how to hit the heavy bag, which is priceless. And Freddie Roach, for you, those of you, of you who don't know, is arguably the best trainer in the world. Like, um, he his best student is Manny Pacquiao, but he, and he was trained by Eddie Futch. And in each of these DVDs, he talks a little bit, like you get nuggets of the history of boxing. And uh, he's he's got a long, long history of boxing from all the way from Eddie Futch, who trained um, Joe Frazier, you know, and he himself has trained many people. He's caught the pads for Bernard Hopkins, Mike Tyson, James Tony, Manny Pacquiao, um, and the list goes on and on. The guy has so many world champions. Um, it's ridiculous, and he's arguably arguably the best trainer um, in the world. And he does have Parkinson's disease, so um, some people say he's a bit hard to understand. I never found that with any of these DVDs. I found it really clear, but the, this is the core. I've, I've watched this so religiously, the, this um, MIT training session. I, I watch it so much that this is like I can, I can do his MIT work in my sleep um, with a lot of the students. Um that I, hold, I that I hold pads for and um, yeah so this has just worked into my DNA because I watched this so much and so if if ever I'm in trouble like or if I'm, I'm going blank which has happened a couple of times when I've got a PT um, session or a student uh, I'm I just go back to Freddie Roach um, style and then if you watch these um, so you got the basic and the advanced the fundamentals and the advanced the advanced he sh teaches you like three um, power punches or special punches with the sh uh, off the shoulder roll. If you watch these, you get the basics of of Freddie Roach, and obviously he's changed over the years. But then just watch any raw, unedited um, Freddie Roach sessions. Particularly, I like the ones with Manny Pacquiao and uh, Miguel Cotto. I, I actually like the ones with Miguel Cotto because Miguel Cotto is orthodox and Manny Pacquiao is southpaw. So I find I really struggle catching southpaws. And for me myself, as an orthodox fighter, I like to watch Miguel Cotto just so I can understand how he positions himself for a punch and stuff. And um, Freddie Roach has actually added the body shield um, to his repertoire. And I think he only uses the body shield for smaller f um, fighters like Manny Pacquiao. He doesn't wear it for heavyweights, obviously, because that will be just too damaging for his body. As he ages, you know, you got to, as a PT person and as you age, you got to really watch how you train you obviously can't spar anymore you can't wear body armor anymore you know <laughs> um things like that but this has absolutely been priceless um so i thought i had the whole set of title boxing and i'm really shocked when i pull this out for this presentation all these dvds out i, I actually don't have it and these ones um have been a recent addition so this is jeff mayweather's um set here and there is a set by Roger Mayweather, which I'm uh, such an idiot. I, I didn't purchase it at the time, and I really, really wish I did. Um, but um, so this one has uh, Boxing Fundamentals. I think that's Volume 1. Yeah, it says it up there. Then Bag Work, Volume 2, and then the Coveted Mitt Work. Um, uh, the, the Bag Work is okay. The Fundamentals is okay. But And Jeff Mayweather, he's really shy in this. Like, uh, he has his own... You can go follow him on Instagram. I think it's a new one now, the real Jeff Mayweather, because one of his accounts got hacked. Um, he's actually the funniest out of the three Mayweathers. So there's... Uh, Floyd Mayweather Sr., who is like the main guy, like he's one of the best. There's Roger Mayweather, who just recently passed away, a couple of years ago passed away. And then there's Jeff Mayweather. And then I, I don't think Floyd, obviously Floyd Mayweather doesn't train people. But you can actually, and my my the head coach of our gym actually did it, but you can actually pay to go to Ameri uh, in America to do the Mayweather experience where you can do it a, a couple of days training with the Mayweathers, so they'll set you up with the whole program, and for, I think it's only four rounds or so, um, one of the Mayweathers will hold pads for you, whether it be Floyd Mayweather Sr. or Jeff Mayweather, and Jeff Mayweather is definitely the most comical out of them, he's really funny, and he tries to liven it up, and, you know, at the end of the day, like, if you are a serious boxer, you probably don't want that, you, you want serious mitt work all the time, but if you're a person that just wants a good workout, um, you know, I'm all for, um, 
Jeff Mayweather sort of approach. And he had he Jeff Mayweather is a world champion. He just isn't, I guess, considered on the same caliber as what Roger Mayweather or Jeff Mayweather accomplished his um brothers. But yeah, for, um I really liked um Jeff Mayweather's um mitt work especially and I'm trying and it takes a long time to incorporate this. A long time. Like I would say it took me many years and I'm still learning um, from the Freddie Roach DVD. Like I've, I've pretty much got this in my sleep now, like it's worked into my DNA, but it took me years to master just these two DVDs. Like I've seen like, you know, a lot of people I know when I like let, lend this to them, they just have one look at it and they get bored right away and they don't have anywhere, I guess, to employ it. Like like I've I've even been in a class with a coach tried to teach the shoulder roll counter and I had to correct him like I go no that's actually Virgil Hunter's move and what he's doing there he's trying to counter over their right hand like oh okay you know what they did they just probably watched it on YouTube and just went oh yeah I'll just do that but it take it takes I, I really do believe in what Houdini said Houdini said about a magic trick you should practice it a thousand times before you show it to anyone and I do believe that's the case for a lot of boxing if you can practice it in private or just you know, practice little by little with your um, PT students rather than making it the centerpiece of a lesson. Like, just so you can understand it from the inside out before you start, you know, teaching it to other people. Because I think it's very, boxing is a very, very unforgiving sport. If you don't teach it right, you know, I don't know. But um, I, I just try to echo uh, uh, these guys as much as possible. I don't try to change what they're saying um i or i might articulate it in a different way but my 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 objective for everything is to follow what they're saying because these guys are world champions jeff mayweather is a world champion boxer freddie roach wasn't a world champion boxer back in his, back in his day but he's trained well endless world champions um but the best one out of these three the three um uh, of the Jeff Mayweather set, and I do advise just get all of them because it's Jeff Mayweather, is the uh, mitt work. It's it's really good. It'll take you a while to get it. Um, he doesn't break down every move that's showcased in there, but um, I think it's a really good foundation. And then go to the... Uh, they have a YouTube channel, the Mayweather channel, or you can just google jeff mayweather mitt work or pad work and then he has he has changed his approach quite a bit from what this dvd and i think uh from what this dvd showcases and i think this dvd came out in like 2012 um on the um like for example in this dvd after a combination he does a double jab so he goes bam, 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 you know right hand left hook right hand double and then it's always a double jab to end the combination and he says it to keep them honest but all the recent videos i've seen on youtube he ends with a double jab right hand and I think he's just added, um, you know, to it from when this DVD was released, which is fine. But if you want to learn um, one of the Mayweather's workout, this is one of the best ones um, to get as the core. And then you'll have to update yourself with watching, you know, Jeff Mayweather on the recent videos of Jeff Mayweather holding the pads. Um, yeah, so uh, it's taken me a long time. I still haven't got this down. It's been um, five weeks now that I've been slowly employing it with the people at my gym. And but... Um, definitely i can you know they're loving it it's a great workout and they look cool and it makes a good video for instagram and once those clients or students share it on ins or on social media then i get more inquiries so that's always the strategy so the um freddie roach one i argue is pretty flashy but um but it's more core boxing whereas the mayweather one is really flashy and that's if you want to show if you want to show off with your clients give them a good workout and then video it so they can share it with their friends the mayweather workout is what everyone is after really and there is a good dvd set called the pad bros um it's not a DVD set, excuse me. It's a download. And they're, they're from Melbourne. I think they break down the Mayweather um, pattern really well. And they break down more of the Floyd Mayweather uh, um, pad work with um, Roger Mayweather, which is more of a loop. So he has a sequence. Mayweather actually has a core sequence with Roger Mayweather. And then they'll add to it and then go back to the core flow. I think it was core flow or the core pad work. And I actually learned a little bit of that. And I don't have the DVD here from a guy called Coach Corey or something like that. No, Coach Rick. Um, Coach Rick um, had a... He, I think it was the first one that released a DVD set on... Um, on the Mayweather um, uh, boxing pad work, and I actually learnt the Mayweather sequence from that, and I didn't like it, and it really hurt my hands. 
Um, so again, that's that's the thing. Like you might do the Mayweather workout, and mo- you might not like it in the end, or you might take what I'm doing, um, incorporate a little bit of Jeff Mayweather, incorporate a little bit of um, Freddie Roach, or and incorporate a little bit of Ross Amber, and then you you might have something uh, a very unique workout compared to other um, PT trainers, and that's where I'm definitely at. I'm, I'm my style is very different. Um, to a lot of PT guys because I've incorporated, you know, sort of Frankenstein my style with all kinds of different styles. But I'm um, sorry, what I was saying with Coach Rick, I did learn the Mayweather flow from him. But for me, I just didn't like it. My hands were really sore. Um, yeah, I, I, I really didn't like the, the Mayweather workout. But it's definitely probably something I'll, I'll probably bring back now that I'm more of a coach. And uh, definitely probably clients um, want more of that. Um, so yeah, the the best ones are J- Jeff Mayweather. If you want the flashy ones for your clients, and of course the um, uh, the Freddie Roach ones, which is the best of the best for you know pad work. Um, I've got heaps of DVDs, and I love it. I really enjoy purchasing these and watching it. And the the most recent recent purchases I've got is uh, I bought, which is online. Uh, I got from Dynamic Striking. I got Antonio Tarver's series. I got um, Neil. McNelly and I got uh, Jason Perillo and I just find all that fascinating how they train boxing especially how they train beginners like somebody who just walked into the gym you can always if I like I, I think I paid $80 to $100 for each of them or no no sorry I got them in a bundle so it was cheaper like buying all three um, if I can just take one little thing from them that I can incorporate in my game, to me, it's worth it. It's worth, easily worth a hundred dollars. If I can say, oh, this is what I learned from Antonio Tava and, in, you know, who's a world champion. If I can incorporate that into my coaching, that's worth all the money in the world to me. So I do try to save up and spend, you know, uh, like if I do have the money, I will spend it on these seminars because I, I just find it really fascinating to watch a real, a world-class craftsman teach their technique or teach their secrets oh and i recently purchased dominic cruz's footwork which is really interesting as well i'm I'm a big mma guy um but um by core i guess um martial art is definitely boxing um uh, and definitely uh, a lot of people want to hire me just to hold pads for a good workout and obviously i video it on my uh, gopro as i said before and i clip it up and i you know bring it up on social media and then they share it but so yeah if you're a pt person and you're looking to add to your game i highly recommend either like some of these might be on youtube or whatever but just just learn as much as possible because the more you can add to your repertoire um i think the more valuable you'll be to your pt clients um and you'll be really respected like a lot of people just like my boxing knowledge just because i've read so much and watched so many dvds and um, and and these aren't just showcases of um, people hold, um, hitting a bag or hitting mitts. Um, you you might get a bit of commentary, especially Freddie Roach goes on tangents a bit, but it's so fascinating. Like he just tells stories about the gym, or yeah, this guy he tried this left hook and it didn't work, and I said, oh, "Have you tried this?" And then all of a sudden it worked. You know, just those little stories can really. Um, you might find nuggets of information there that you can employ in your own training strategies. So, yeah. So, guys, um, I will do an update on this. I haven't finished my um, purchases of DVDs. Arguably, it's never-ending. Like, if Dynamic Striking releases, I don't know, Manny Pacquiao's secret left hand, <laughs> I don't know, I'll probably purchase it. But there are still a few DVDs out there that I'm hunting. I'd love the Roger Mayweather one, although I've, I've never seen it again. It was on Amazon a, a while ago, Roger Mayweather. It was like a seven-disc set or something. I've never seen it on there again. Um, there's a whole bunch of DVDs I still want. I really want the... Um, the George St. Pierre instructional of the DVD. Somebody's uploaded on YouTube, but very poor quality. But I collect these. I want to own the physical copy. So I have this black library. And oh, what I do, because DVDs, um, they actually um, are prone to good production value here. They're actually prone to scratching. So over time, eventually this won't work on a DVD player. So I highly recommend you get a program or if, if you or get an external DVD player that's hooked up to your computer and rip it to your computer just so you got it. Like I, I won't upload any of these to pirated websites or anything like that. Like I paid for these 
Um, so, I, you know, I, I don't want to cheat. Like, I don't want to hurt the industry so to discourage them from up from making these and that's the that's the thing that's kind of really hurt the instructional series like um once it's out there once they've made the dvd or once they've put it online um it's really susceptible to piracy and the issue with piracy like it's great like if you're really poor you can at least watch it but the downside is if everyone gets pirated stuff you, you know people they won't make instructional dvds anymore you really kill off a great great tool for um boxing um education or, or um physical or exercise education so i highly recommend to seek out and purchase these um if you can just go on ebay and you should be able to find it although the title boxing ones are getting pretty hard <laughs> but most of the title boxing people have uploaded these on youtube but um yeah you, the jeff may were the ones you can still get on ebay anyway guys i'll do an update on this if i purchase any more and um yeah that's the end of uh, vlog three